Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Deus Ex Human Revolution. Now, before we get into this, I noticed there was an apartment over here. I made us this courtyard. I didn't break into this apartment. Not before. Um, and before I go into his computer, I went into his bedroom. I was like, oh, there's an ebook. Oh, look, there's a, a closet with a safe. Open up the closet. Just big weapons. What well, looks like Tokyo Ghoul style. More big weapons. He even has some in his safe. I just wanted to, uh. I just wanted to share that with you all. Yeah. Alright. The attack on nature turning the world against us. Is this actually new? Because I'm seeing one more of these. Yeah, it is new. Alrighty. Turning our world against us. For all the grand schemes of leading figures in the field of geoengineering, the fact is this branch of science is in fact nothing short of clarentry. Putting aside the lingering questions of global warming and its effects or lack thereof on the world around us, instead consider the damage that would be wrought by these climate changing cowboys if they were well were allowed to run riots across the ecosphere. Toothless environmental protection treaties and governments who care only for the profits and votes are opening the doors for scientists with quick fixes. Quick, fi quick fix solutions up their sleeves. They leave our fragile earth already injured through our short-sightedness, vulnerable to greater harm. How can anyone how can anything known as geohacking be a positive endeavor? We are discussing means of weather control and environmental modification not made to save lives, but often funded by military think tanks of weight to wage war. I mean, it's not completely wrong, but it's not right, really. What's on this guy's laptop? From Lo Hawin to the Fen 11. Um... How and do you remember Dong Hai from the, my office? He was telling my, he was telling me that his sister has been missing for several days. He thinks it's the harvesters stealing bodies for the black market. To his face, I told him not to be silly. In my heart, I fear he is right. Li Fen, oh my, I do remember Dong Hai. What troubling news about his sister? Hopefully, he is wrong and she returns home soon. Our neighborhood is becoming too dangerous. Um. And that's about leaving the doors open. That's some scary shit. Alright. Here comes jump cut. Okay. Back where we were supposed to be. Ooh. How did I miss that? Okay. Oh yeah, I remember this one. I was like, what is the purpose of this? Grant. I was curious if it would... Excellent work. I'm starting the triangulation now. Should have a location very soon. You want to and me? I've got it. Jaya is hiding in an apartment building called the Hengsha Court Gardens in the Yuzhou district. I'm sending you her coordinates. Get over there and get us the money she oh. owes. I mean, she does owe you money. You guys are kind of shady, but she did take money from you guys, so she should know better. I can't really badmouth either one here. In reality. I mean, I'm doing shady shit working for them, but it's a side quest. A side quest. I have to do it. I don't have to. I want to do it. It's a side quest. Whoa. That's a little drastic. Oh! That's even worse. Oh! Not really. <laughs> Not really. If she resists, we'll just pop her in the face and she'll be fine. All right, because I fuck things up more often than not. Uh, let's do some of this. Who are you? Another one of Tong's thugs? Well, get out! I told him I won't pay another credit. <sighs> wow, you're a bit of. I know this is not an ideal situation. Look, 
I know this is not an ideal situation, and I'm not proud that I gotta do this. But Tom's crew wants the money you owe them. Mm -hmm. Oh, you poor boy. Having trouble dealing with the dirty job you have to do? And I should feel sorry for you? Reality check, tax man. You're here to steal money from me. Stealing? They got you the augmentation you needed, and they expect you to pay for it. Not the most charitable exactly. thing to do, but I would hardly call it stealing. Are you really that gullible? Tom doesn't run a buy now, pay later operation. It's more like a buy now, pay forever. Listen, I just started as a broker. Most other brokers come from rich families. They paid for arguments that give them an incredible edge in the business. There's no way I could afford anything like that through legal channels. So you cut a deal with a crime syndicate? I didn't study this hard to end up with nothing. Once I made enough money, I offered to pay for the AUG. But no, what they want is part of my monthly profits. They say they're entitled to it since it's their upgraded enhancement chip that helped me make that money. I mean, they're not wrong, really. How did you meet Tom? The same way most people end up meeting Tom. I was hurt, and one of his hounds smelled blood. They came to me and offered me help. I was intelligent enough to know it was a bad idea, but angry enough not to care. Right there. Couldn't you work without the augment? You wouldn't have gotten into so much trouble if you'd played by the rules. Play by the rules? Let me tell you a little story about playing by the rules. I come from a poor family. Uh -huh. My father, my mother, my two sisters, and three brothers, none of them ever amounted to much. When I tried to do better, when I made efforts in school, they said I was wasting my time. I got into business school, and again, they said I was wasting my time. That I could never compete with all those rich kids and their tutors and extra classes. But you did. I did. I finished top of my class, without the extra help and special attention. Only through blood, sweat, and tears. And then what did my classmates do? They cheated. They once again bought their way to success. Sad, but that's kind of And what did my family say? That I had wasted my time. I was just supposed to accept defeat after all the efforts I've made. No. No way. Good for you, but I mean... How much are they asking from you? A couple hundred credits every month. That's not much. Doesn't look like much, but in the long run, let's just say they've made a very lucrative deal. Especially if you consider I'm not their only client. Yes, but I mean, they did pay for something extremely expensive, and you're being like this, so... <sighs> I know offering help is not going to really get much done. Let's see. No, I still want to help, honestly. Listen, maybe I can speak to one of Tong's men. Try and get you off the hook. You would do that? I, I thought you were just another one of his mindless thugs. It it's hard to properly express what this could mean for me. Don't thank me yet. Mm -hmm. I can't guarantee they'll listen, but I'll try. Exactly. We can't th guarantee shit. Oh, is she the psychopath? She's the psychopath! With like the frickin' interrogation chair in the single bedroom. I'm not messing around with you, lady. You stay in there. Psychopath. Uh, where's the elevator door? Oh, there it is. So I have it on the map, right, to go and talk to one of them. Uh, which one? This one? No, this one? No. Yeah, I give up. <laughs> if it wasn't showing up on the map, it probably wasn't there. I could pop her in the mouth and, you know, get the money from her. I could convince her to give the money. But like she said, it's... It's a long-term deal. But she did get something very good from them. And honestly, even if they accept a couple hundred credits every month, compared to the fact that the augmentation was probably like 
five or ten thousand, she got the better end of that deal. Cause yeah. I mean like one thousand two hundred credits every year. Okay, that's a year. One thousand two hundred credits. In a couple years that's gonna be paid off easily. And then even after that, but that's after like five years or something. Five years if she still has the augment, if she's still making money, if it's working out, like, yeah, that's a lot of ifs. She could go belly up and they could have wasted all their money. Ah. <gasps> oh. Success. Oh. Right there, there's a hundred credits. Look how much work I had to do. I mean. <coughs> two civilians. Just doing their thing. Alrighty. I'll try to talk her out of this. But it's probably unlikely. I'll see if I can just pay it for her, because I got lots of money. What can I get you? Hey, about that job. You found Jaya yet? You need to get back the money she owes us. What's it going to take for you to leave Jaya alone for good? I don't understand. Didn't you get the money? I know about the Shylock scam you're running. Get her the augment she wants and then bleed her with monthly payments for the rest of her life. I want to know what it's going to take for you to leave her alone for good. A cyborg with a heart of gold, are we? Yeah. Tell you what, Guaylo. You give me a year's worth of payments and she's free. Really? That's it? You're too kind a man. A fine specimen of humanity. Here's your money. Now you better leave her alone. Don't make threats you can't enforce. Uh. But yes, she's off the hook. Here, take this Praxis kit. It's top notch, so have fun. I got a Praxis for that? I mean, he did say to not make promises I can't keep. Your Whoops. I mean... I just want to get this cleared. Ugh. Thanks for the money, fuck up. No! <laughs> okay. Uh. I mean, 5,000 for a Praxis, that's actually a good deal. Cause we pay 5,000 for a Praxis in general. Do I really need to come back to the hive at all? I don't think I do. How much is that invisibility? It's two. That's <laughs> just gonna knock him out and just run away. But I mean, we don't really need to do that now. Level five would be nice. So I don't actually have to do the things I do. Uh, this would also be nice. Okay, well, I have one extra cell. Thanks for the 5,000, buddy. I'm just kind of curious if they're just going to go about their business. You can't come in here, can you? Okay, good. Is it worth 5,000 for this? Not really. But at the same time, yes. I mean, he's aggressive, nobody else is. Oh! Oh, look at that. Walked away with my money. And fucking taught Bobby a lesson. I'm okay with that. It's not as good as punching him in the face, but I mean... In another timeline I did. That's good enough for me. And we get a Praxis for it. And we completed two side quests. Man, I feel good.
We helped somebody, hurt somebody, we got some money that we already paid, and on top of all of it, we got Praxis. I mean, that's like, that's like several wins in any book. That's pretty good. Alrighty. I'm surprised that actually went down so well. Oh, that should not have went down so well. Oh, thank the gods it did. Oh, I can finally go in here. Oh, right. The pods. The pods. Right. Okay. Isn't this, um, like a super high-tech facility? No. I don't remember anything about this place. Not a single thing. Do you actually have real fire? No. Not fake fire. <sighs> Nothing gets the blood flowing like your ass on fire. But of course, they have artificial fire. <laughs> this is so funny. Hello. Yes, yes. Beds on second and third floor. Showers and laundry in basement. You want a pod? Yeah, I'd like a pod. We got some harvesters in here. Uh, feeling like they're not gonna let me hack that. But nothing. Does anybody drop a quarter anymore? Like for reals? Hmm. Whatever. Oh crap. <laughs> Access granted. I got one stop and I used a nuke in a stop, so spend a nuke. But that's fine. Ooh. Dragon's head, the triads of the 21st century. A traditional form. The original eightfold rank structure among the triads became more streamlined in the modern era. With such traditions as the 36 oaths of fealty falling out of favor to be replaced with less ornate, more immediate pledges of lo to loyalty. The contemporary four-tier system reflects the flexibility of tried criminal enterprise, with a mixture of numeral designators and or traditional honorifics assigned to given roles. At the very lowest level are the prohibitionary members often drawn from young youth gangs. These so-called Blue Lanterns become a rank and file, 49, after initial ceremony. Above them are the key administrators and enforcers, the White Paper Fan, the Red Pole, the Straw Sandal. At command level, at command level comes the Vanguard Deputy Mountain Master and Incense Master, and finally the Mountain Master, also known as the Dragon Head. Okay. Interesting. Oh. You're getting there! Fuck. Boop. Boop doop. Alrighty. Okay. So, kind of similar. Oh, this one first. And then this one. Ooh. God, that scared me. Oh, these are going pretty well. Access granted. A nuke and 200 credits. Um, from Thriving Night Owl to guest support. Um, complaint, Mr. Chow. This is the third time I've noticed trash piling up in the corridor outside of Pod 222. Mr. Zoo's lack of courtesy towards the other guests in this hotel is horrendous. And, other, and only likely to get worse if management, namely you, doesn't do something about it. Do you want your establish, establishment to get reputation as being a rat hole? If you do not res, uh, resetify the situation soon, 
I will be forced to take my complaint to the authorities, and I am quite sure that several of your clients and business partners will not appreciate seeing armed soldiers patrolling in here. Sincerely, Liu Changchang. From Hive Master to Guest Support, Pod 301. Ciao, make sure 301 gets whatever the fuck he wants, boys, girls, internet access, soda noodles, or the fucking moon. Our LP brothers. I've got big plans for him and HK, which means we need to keep him happy until we slip him onto their ship. After that, he's their problem. T. Oh, that's Tong. Okay. From Wu to get support, lease extension, Mr. Chow. I don't know what's going on with the construction permit, but looks like I will be forced to extend my stay here by yet another three months. I simply don't understand what's happening on Shugu Plaza. When I put my down payment in, they promised me that the new condo would be ready by spring. Can't somebody cut through all the bureaucracy and jumpstart the building efforts? At least I have you to thank for your understanding and patience. The last thing I need to worry about right now is being thrown out of on the streets. Sincerely, Wu and Lei. Oh my god. Okay. 419 to get support. Urgent response needed. Attention. Prison CEO. Oh yeah, this is the scam. Cleaning staff to get support. Pod 128. Mr. Chow. This morning, I go to make Pod 128 ready for next guest, as you say. But when I open it, I see many items of former guests still inside. You sure she is not coming back? This this not feel right to me maybe I make a mistake and write down wrong pod number please let me know what to do Zach okay Ooh, we have a safe this is a two Damn. Whoa. Access granted. Okay. I mean, that still confuses me when that happens. A thousand credits? Holy shit. Okay. Now, let's see what else is in this shit show. Nice janitor. Can't open those. I understand. Thank you for your assistance, good sir. Hmm. Jensen, I... I was on my way out. What are you doing here, Malik? I told you I got this one. I know. It, I didn't do anything. Oh. Trust me. Van Bruggen's all yours. Hang on a second. Something's wrong. What is it? Why are you here? It's nothing. I mean, can't a girl have secrets? Of course, but I can tell something's bothering you. And I'm concerned. What's going on? I just... I just had to look into something. For a friend. She... She deserved better. I'm listening. Fine, since you're so damn curious. Yeah. Years ago, I used to live here, remember? Mm -hmm. My friend, my best friend, Evelyn. She was like a sister to me. Made living here fun. But then, there was an accident. She... She's dead. I'm sorry, Malik. Wait, Jensen, let me finish. I thought I was okay with it, but I know. I know she didn't just die. She was killed. Murdered. Her damn scumbag boyfriend did it. I know he did. I knew he was trouble right from the start, but she just wouldn't listen to me. Malik, easy. If your friend was murdered, the police would have suspected something. They would have investigated. That's just it. There was no investigation. They said she fell down a flight of stairs like it was some kind of freak accident. But her wounds, the way she died, they don't add up. It's right here in the damn blood spatter analysis. Blood spatter? You've seen the police report? Yes. A friend left a copy of it in a pod here for me to pick up. Listen, I know it sounds crazy, but I think... I think there's been a cover-up. Yep. I just have to prove it. If I could get my hands on the autopsy report, the one that never surfaced, I know I'd get the truth. Except... Why do I suspect I'm about to get dragged into something? Look, Jensen, I'm sorry. I know Van Bruggen is the priority mm -hmm. here. And I told you it was my business and I could take care of it. It's just... The more I think about it, the more I realize I'm in over my head. I'm just a pilot. I'm not a damn cop. 
but I need to know the truth. This autopsy report, once you got your hands on it, what were you planning on doing next? I... I'm not sure. Like I said, I'm a pilot, not a cop. But I just... I felt I had to do something while I had the chance. Maybe once you get the report and we know what it says, we can... improvise. Malik, don't take this the wrong way, but I need some kind of incentive to justify any complications that might arise. I'll see what I can do, but I can't promise anything. That's fine. I'm fine with that. Why do you suspect Evelyn's boyfriend had something to do with her death? Because he was poison, right from the start. Born into money and influence, but never once assuming responsibility for anything. Yeah. I don't think he's worked an honest day in his life. So he was a wealthy, big-headed asshole. If that was reason enough to accuse someone of murder, half the world would be in the pen. No, there's more to it than that. He's known for violent outbursts, domestic altercations. He nearly killed a kid over some stupid gambling feud. So the problem a... is, his family made him untouchable, even to the police. And Evelyn was okay with all of this? She... always tried to see the good in people, give him the benefit of the doubt. You could say that's just being naive or even stupid, but I think she was just... innocent. Yeah, that happens. You said you've seen the police report. Who gave it to you? An old friend who was also a good friend of Evelyn's. He used to work for the Shanghai PD. He left a copy of it along with a few other things concerning Evelyn in a pod here for me to look at. He also left some instructions on how to contact someone at Lim for the autopsy report he's convinced was intentionally buried. Why would Lim have anything to do with Evelyn's autopsy report? Well, if you haven't noticed, the Chinese government has been outsourcing branches of its public services for years. Bell Tower polices the streets, and nowadays Lim does more than just cosmetic surgery. They're often contracted for special cases like Evelyn's. And what made Evelyn's case so special, you think? Her boyfriend, Lee. He was at the scene. He had Evelyn's blood on him and tested positive for alcohol and drugs in his system. With his rap sheet, it wasn't looking good for him. But his family, they're on a lot of boards with deep pockets and a lot of reach. They wouldn't suffer the embarrassment of having their son indicted on a suspected murder charge. Tell me about Evelyn. She was beautiful, carefree, loved to have a good time. I met her during my internship for a private transportation and logistics firm here in Shanghai. Aww. She was a great pilot, too. Knew how to feel the currents, to push the bird just so. Too bad her talents for reading the wind didn't translate to reading guys. How so? She was always getting into trouble with the wrong crowds. And it always had to do with some boy. She knew I didn't like him, her boyfriend at the time, Lee. It drove a wedge between us, and when we parted ways, it wasn't amicable. I understand. She was a good girl, Jensen. She deserved better. <sighs> All right. Okay, I'll help. What do you need me to do? My lead. He works for Lim. He's a systems technician who apparently has access to their entire database. He's willing to hand over a copy of Evelyn's autopsy report. So you want me to meet him and get the report? Is that it? Yes, but he'll only respond to a certain phrase. Death and life have their determined appointments. To which he'll reply, riches and honors depend upon heaven. Christ, Malik, this is starting to sound like something out of a bad spy movie. It's I know. Beautiful. He's just trying to protect himself. I didn't pick the damn quote. So just play along and remember the line, okay? You'll find him inside the lobby of the Lower Hengsha Lim Clinic. Does this guy have a name? None that I know of. But he apparently goes by the handle Anonymous X. I know, I know. Anonymous X. Okay, anything else? Yeah, before I forget, everything concerning Evelyn's... incident? Newspaper articles, the police report, Lim details, it's all inside pod 009 here in the hotel. You should read over everything if you can. Pod 9. Got it. I need to go. Contact me with any updates and... Thank you. I really appreciate this, Jensen. You're a friend. Of course I'll help you. Ah, <sighs> I mean, I don't like having to freaking sit here and... Like, bug you about this shit. You should just be able to come to me. Ah, <sighs> but, you know, I understand. I just love how I like kind of hover up. It's like eh. I'm circulating a petition to have two women on the second floor of the West Wing evicted. Will you sign? Wow, what a bitch! That person's a bitch. You don't know these people, and they're not your problem. But can you please help me get rid of them? They're assholes. L believe me, I would not lie about this. I'm a good person, unlike those people. That's Everything I've got, real cheap. What you got? And it's time that we as a species stepped up to make things better. 
Our best chance at doing this is to modify ocean hmm. temperatures through a combination of iron seeding and geothermal. Can I play? Uh, it's nice to meet you too. Ooh. Energy bar. Armor piercing system. What? Oh, oh, I can combine it with a pistol. I was like, oh, armor piercing drink laser darts. So beer. Nothing. I'm just hoping one of these guys will actually sell me something. That's what I'm curious about. Oh, hey! Thanks, he have. You buy or sell? I do it all. Look at a computer and see for yourself. Nice scarf, by the way. You've got all this stuff. You got pet packs, trank darts, stun gun ammo. You've got fucking stops and nukes. Oh. Explosive round package, rate of fire upgrade. All that. Gas grenades. What do these do? Non lethal grass used to knock out multiple targets. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's pretty good. He sells the peps. I don't think I can use this on my trank rifle. Alright, what can I sell? I can sell you a pistol. I could sell you some ammo. I could sell you this armor piercing system. Yeah, I will be right here. Okay, good. Got anything else in here? It looks like it. <laughs> Just Adam Jensen away! Oh man, I love that. That is so great. <gasps> oh my gosh, it actually paid off. I don't think I can upgrade that though. Adam Jensen, away! I got 200 XP for it too. Cool. Yep. Yep. So. And that was the one I wanted to buy, right? Yeah. Come back! Okay, so it would have been a waste of time and money. I would have done the save scum thing though. Save, buy an upgrade. Oh, can I use this? No? Well, F it. Reload. It's, it's not because I don't know and I'm not going to look it up. It's because the way the game is, like, they should have it like, this upgrades with this. Instead of just figure it out. You can look at your weapons and like, like I think where reload speed there was like how it's like light green now, it was like shaded, so it would tell you you can't upgrade that way. Oh yeah, these are the pods. These are their little apartments. Yeah, I'm not kidding. Yeah. Hello. Papa Panda. Oh, Papa Panda, it's a lotus blossom. This message has not been sent. My dearest Wen, I am having a nice time on my business trip. Australia is wonderful. Someday you will come with me and I can show you the sights of Melbourne. I miss you very much and I wish I could be home with you and your mother in Hengsha. But I have a duty to fulfill and I must stay out on the road for a little while longer. I hope you are behaving for your mother and that you are helping her around the house. The hotel I'm staying in is big and beautiful. People are so glamorous, I feel so common among them. I do not yet know when I will be coming home, but when I do, I will bring you gifts for being such a good girl. That's sad. That is so sad. Hold on, let me give you these emails out of the way and stuff. Cause that's annoying me. Oh, let's leave him something. There you 
you go, buddy. Give a little, take a little. Alrighty. Electrogravitic technology applications from a technolo technological... No, from a tech... Technology demonstration lecture presented to the United States Air Force in August 2015 by Hugh Darrow of Darrow Industries. Based on an immature design of Russian origin, we've been looking at this technology as a applicable functionality for enhanced human subsystems in the military arena. Well, it is isn't a substitute for an actual physical de descent system, such as a fast rope or parafoil. The Electrogravity generator is now at a level of intricacy whereby we can implant it in a human being. The cone unit, or the core unit, the generator module, and the power the powertrain is fusion bounded to the bone at the base of the implantee's spine and a distributed mix of demo sensors and motion fibers in the inner ear work with a built in accelerometer to activate it in a pulse phase mode if the implantee's body enters a state of uncontrolled fall for more than a couple of seconds. With practice, skilled operators have been able to drop from heights ranging from below 30 feet to upwards of 100 feet with zero fall trauma. You can understand why we nicknamed this the bungee cord in R&D. Ah, <laughs> okay. Close enough. Nothing. Hello. Yeah, I am. Wait. Oh, I thought I could interact with something. Oh, it's a scanner. Nothing. Oh. Some beer. <laughs> really? <laughs> uh, I hope he learns a little bit more respect next time. Nice guy Jensen, right? And it's time that we as a species stepped up to make things better. Oh, that was funny. Our best chance of doing this is to modify Say hello. Get lost, loser. Bam. Instant karma. From Lu Boy, Hum Fam to Hun Fam. This message has not been sent yet. Dear Mama, I hope this letter finds you well. Please give my love and regards to Father and Zui Li. I miss you all very much. Life in Hangsha is very exciting. The opportunities are too numerous to mention. However, it is a very difficult place if, like me, you have little money. Life is very expensive here and poor people are not treated the same way we treat the less fortunate back in our village. It seems like the city is so big. It seems like the city is so big, people. I guess they didn't finish it. I couldn't scroll anymore. Oh, did someone find him? I mean, he got what he deserved. Oh, you're freaking out a bit. I'm sorry about that. Here, I'll make it better. Okay. Let's just cover up this trash. He's not dead yet. I mean, that's a good sign. I mean, he might be now. I'm not really going to. I was thinking about it, but I'm not gonna. <sighs> We're too good for that type of person. You work for the tongue? He sent you here? Uh, nothing there. Nothing up there. Hey. What's up? 
Nothing in here. Oh, there's nothing in here. Nice shoes. Can I play a hand? Maybe it is. I mean, that's fine. I understand that. I'm sorry. How to win at Mahjong. <laughs> the basics. Uh, I'll let you pause it if you really want to read this. I'm not reading this. Okay. It doesn't have any lore significance. Hey. That's fine. Oh, not really. Rooftop pitfalls, claim another. Evelyn Carmichael, a young woman in her early 20s, became one of the latest victims claimed by the deadly use of rooftops. That the authorities clamber for stricter safety regulations and zoning permits. Sources, claim, er, sources close to the victim say Evelyn had been out celebrating with her boyfriend before the incident occurred. A witness who identified who has identify, identity was not released claimed she slipped and fell while descending one of the many staircases to connect the Yuzo and Kuyang rooftops with pendant streets below. Police believe alcohol or drugs may have been influenced the fatal accident, but officials claim the tragedy could not have been avoided entirely if the law were different. With the elections just around the corner, Evelyn's death will no doubt spark a host of new debates and controversies concerning city-wide safety regulations. Rooftop-related injuries and death have steadily risen in the last five years and make up for 60% of all recorded accidental fa fatalities each year. That's a fuck ton. Um, from Majimu to MMU, Fly Girl, the limb contract has agreed. The limb contact has agreed to meet you tonight. I don't know how large or small this window of opportunity is, or how long it will remain open to us, but it's the only thing we have to go on. Hopefully, we can trust him. He holds the biggest piece of this puzzle. I'm sorry I can't be of any more help on this. As much as it pains me to see Lee walk, my hands are tied. If my supervisors found out I was even talking about this, he'd have my badge. I've attached a copy of the police report filed on the night of the incident. The original transcripts have been practically gutted by ID. Um, as you will no doubt see, the autopsy report should have filled in the blanks. P.S. You owe me a pocket secretary. Smatty face. Um, incident 23 year old Caucasian female, dead on arrival from probably falling downstairs. Only witness is her boyfriend, who was found at the scene. Victim, Evelyn Carmichael, injury sustained, severe head trauma, cranial lacerations, internal bleeding, swelling, like the cause of death. Suspect, Lee Hong, details uh, on, citation needed, at approximately 2349, so 1149. Personally from the uh, Long Hong, no. Personally from the LHPF, responding to a district's call from suspect 209, Lee Hong. Upon arrival at the scene, the respond responding officer witnessed victim Evelyn Carmichael on the ground near citation needed, see transcript OC. Uh, victim was unresponsive, first response EMT until unit on scene, pronounced victim deceased at approximately 2 in, two in the morning. Well. At approximately two minutes into the morning, uh, victims victim was transported to see transcript for future evaluation and possible treatment. Suspect wearing a shirt covered in what appears to be the victim's blood was questioned by responding officer Sergeant Maji. Suspect was visibly distressed, claiming victim had been drinking prior to the incident and fallen. Uh, suspect was tested, confirming suspicion of intox intoxication. Suspect was then detained and transported to further citation needed. Uh, further questioning after EMT cleared him for release. Suspect later claimed incident occurred moments before calling to HFPF emergency, roughly between 2340 and 2345. That's a bit bullshit. Further screening and urinary 
urinalysis revealed narcotic element EXT9 in suspect system. Suspect remained in custody until until blank before being released. Forensic evidence at the scene turned up inconclusive data to support suspect's claim. Blood splatter analysis concluded that while blood cast off patterns matched those of a fall, there was no evidence of a low to medium velocity impact splatter, splatter to match victim's wound. And the probab or probable cause of death, blunt force, head trauma, and intracranial hemorrhaging. Further investigation into the case are suspended until post-mortem evaluation and autopsy, autopsy is concluded at blank. Uh, pending further evidence, Lieutenant Yen edits, suspect is clear of prosecution, formal charges or otherwise, by order of the corrupt fuckers. Good to know. Good to know. Lovely. Alright, so I've got a lot of people to punch in the future, it looks like. Hmm. Why can I? There we go. Alright. Did I check over here already? Nope. Alrighty. Lots of little places. Hey. I still have one energy left, man. Don't fuck with me. I'll give you one more chance to be nice. No, I don't. But I mean, that doesn't keep mean you have to be rude. I can understand subtitles. I know what you have in there. I don't know what you're talking about. I saw you with Ferret in your shirt <gasps> the other day. Awesome. You know pets are not allowed in hotel. That's not true. I tell Mr. Chow if you not get rid of it. You're a very mean lady. Are you security? Make this man get rid of disgusting rodent. I mean it. How we? Let's see if we can help them out. Expect it to. Whoops! I didn't mean to knock them both out! Oh shit. <laughs> oh, I didn't knock her out! And then I knocked them both out. Oh, I could stun gun her. I could drink dart her. I'd shoot her in the head. That would help too. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> Just drag her body off. Yeah. There you go. Have a nap. Um, let me just grab that. There you go. Close enough. If someone has their way with her. She shouldn't have been such an asshole about a ferret. Uh, from guest support to cleaning staff, judging by the amount of dust that's been accumulating on my filing cabinet, desktop, and chair, I'm thinking you forgot to the access code to my office door, 3824. Now get in there and clean it. Sincerely, an asshole. Oh, he's gonna get punched. And it might not even be from me. Yeah. Some wine. Some working girls. Ladies. Uh, you come to hang show for a good time? That confidence again. Here I am. Uh Sumiko to Masumi. Masumi, father is very worried about you. He says uncle was in Hengsha in business and went to visit you at your new workplace. But when he saw what kind of hotel it was, he refused to walk inside. He says there is no way that the, the hotel Hung Hao would hire a beautiful girl like you just to sweep rooms. What are you doing, sister? I know it must be very expensive living in the big city like Hengsha, but surely you must not stoop so low to make rent. Please, sister, write back and tell us it's not true. Your loving sister, Sumiko. Well, neither of these girls are named her name, so... It's a good start.
Hey, and I took your stuff. There wasn't anything in here, right? Yep. <laughs> like how he's still freaking out. You're fine, man. Your ferret's okay. You can keep your ferret. Jeez. Some people worry way too much about little things. What? Oh, right. That. I should just crush him. I really should. Squash. Uh, I already checked here. Is there anything over there? No. Okay, that's the entrance, so there's nothing over there. And then upstairs. I just don't understand how many city can grow to a crop where there can be so many. Oh. Kai worn up fake. There goes another person. Ooh, some money. Alright. I know. I'm so sorry. Hopefully things get better. Well, you did say please, at least. Ooh. Oh no, he's packing! Jensen's packing! Boxes! He's moving! Shoot! Dear Diary, some kids banged on my door and taunted me today. They yelled Hikimori er Hikikomori and shut in and banged and scratched and kicked to get my attention. I think they belong to a woman down the hall. I'm repulsed by their guttural accents. Today was a good day. I sat in my usual place by this time and I was content to look out the window. People look so sad and lost. I pity them when I am not angry. When I am not angry. Should be but. Someone rang my phone at 4.18 p.m. today. It came as a shock because no one is supposed to bother me. I spent most of my day trying to figure out if it was a mistake or an, on purpose. I do not like day like days like today. They make me nervous and confused. Today I am cold and cannot warm up. Very cold. I made a bowl of miso soup, but it did nothing. Sometimes I wonder if my blood is thinner than other people's. My neighbor was making a lot of noise last night. He plays his satanistic music at an infernal volume. I think he does it to drown out the sounds of him beating his girlfriend. If I didn't have to stay here, I would teach him some manners. I think he is from Central Asia. There is a part of me that really likes his music. <sighs> so much ignorance in that last one. <sighs> Excuse me. From guest support to HREC MFLD, Mr. Sun, we understand your concerns and are working to fix the problem. We will notify you when the leak has been rectified. Chu Jin. Um, this is from him to them. Although I am usually a good natured tenant, I feel I must become cross very soon. I am at a loss as to why you will not give me a simple answer to a simple question. When will the leak be fixed in the ceiling of my home? My patience is quickly running out. Sun Dimming. <laughs> oh! Another energy lost. Alright. Ah, What's in this one? Can I move this onto him? Actually, hold on. Let's not be rude. Get in here. I'm feeling nice today. Ah, anything in here? No. That's an understandable situation. Ooh. 
一点点他们，他们就是垃圾。但有些是我妈妈给我的。去问问姐，嗯，看他还有多余的地方给我们放东西。这个姐不会情愿的吧 ？Okay, that was it. That's all the stuff there is. Yeah, because there was a pistol like this one. There was nothing there. Okay. And I think I checked everywhere. Yeah, there's one asshole. There's that guy. Okay. Anything else? Can't go even further upstairs. Can I jump upstairs? Not really. Um, there's in there. I'm kind of worried about going in there and getting further into the quest line. But I mean... Sacrifices? No, I'll save before we do that actually, just in case it does like... Make it, make an ultimatum of, you have to leave or complete the quest. And by leave I mean like, you know leave the this area and go back to like Detroit which I'm not okay with. What's up? That's understandable. There's nothing wrong with that. You're fine. I wish I had time to learn your language and I apologize that I don't. Uh, nothing. That's a lot of empties. Hello. You look for person, right? No other reason for a stranger like you to be here. Maybe look for someone else who not belong? Maybe. What is that book? About Charles Darwin and the origin of... That's that's cool. Oh yeah, we've seen that book before. The one with the skull at the bottom, right? That's cool. Oh, that coffee also has like a face on it. See? Face. Alrighty. Uh, nothing there. I keep seeing this little yellow outline right there, and I keep thinking it's an item, but it's not. Ugh. Oh yeah, there was nothing in those metals. So the guy and nothing over here. Left his pot door open. Yeah, so I couldn't help but sneak a look inside. <coughs> he has so much stuff lying around. It's incredible. I could have snatched an eve over too. What the hell about? Oh, you should have. At least then we'd have some juicy reading material for tonight. Alright. From Hive Security to Brass Knuckles. Um. BB, about that little collection job you sent my way. I tried. I really did. But this bitch just won't honor the agreement. You know, I'm not the, the one to take no for an answer. Especially from ladies. But this bitch is something special. I'm thinking she usually... She actually used the AUG on me to convince me to leave her alone. You want what she owes, you need another collector. Needless to say, the DH is extremely disappointed in you, as am I. I told you this was a dirty job. How can you expect to become a 426 if you can't deal with one little woman? Not good, BB. Oh, those are words you never want to hear. Not good, BB. Hello. You don't belong here, stranger. <laughs> Try the hive or the Honghua for fun. People live here. They don't want some foreigner gawking at them. I mean, that's understandable. You you definitely need to work in your presentation, though. Before I use energy. I don't care who you are, you're rude. But it's a game. So it doesn't really make a difference. Some peps. Energy boost packs, yeah. Alright. Before we actually go over there. Oh god. Well, this episode's run way too long, so I apologize for that. I've just been having a lot of fun running around and helping some people. So, in the next episode, we'll go over there and deal with that person, or we'll go and complete the side quest. Either one. I think we'll complete the side quest, that way I have something to run and do in between this and the next episode. I'll see you guys there. Have a good day, and I hope you enjoyed. Bye bye!